For nine days each October, all eyes turn skyward for this city's international balloon fiesta. Somewhere between 700 and 1,000 hot air balloons glide over the city as part of the event that draws visitors, both balloonists and gawkers, from all over the world, doubling the metro area's size for two weeks every fall. Hi, this is Rick Curtis, and this Church Planting Minute is brought to you from Sandia Mountain in Albuquerque, New Mexico. So what makes Albuquerque the perfect place to pilot a hot air balloon? The Albuquerque Box. It's a set of predictable wind patterns that make navigating a balloon fairly simple. At lower elevations in the Rio Grande Valley where the city sits, the winds are southerly, and at higher elevations, the winds are northerly. So balloon pilots can launch their craft from Balloon Fiesta Park, drift down the valley, catch another wind and current, and drift back to the exact same place where they started. The city's cool morning temperatures also make it easier to fly a balloon. The balloons rise faster in cold air. In short, Albuquerque's wind pattern and temperatures are balloon perfect in the month of October. As a church planter, this event offers a lot to consider. It's a lot like church planting. If you want to soar, the conditions have to be optimal. With the balloon fiesta, it's easy. There are just a few variables, time of the year, wind conditions, and temperature. For you to launch and then to soar, many conditions need to be right. Among them, the time of the year, setting the right conditions leading up to the launch, assuring that you have sufficient manpower, support, and bandwidth to handle the coming flight. Here's the thing. Even with just a few variables, you don't just jump in a balloon and fly. That ends in tragedy. You need to train to be open to instruction, have a significant investment of time, and seek a mentor to teach you about the ins and outs of balloon flight. You also need to learn how to handle the unexpected. And church planting is no different. If you don't already have your instructor, find one. Actually, find two. Find a guy that's a couple years ahead of you and learn from his victories and his mistakes. Run your ideas by him and get his perspective. Then find a second guy, a seasoned guy, someone who has been down the road for quite a while and can mentor you in the deeper things, dealing with people, strategic re-envisioning, and life dynamics. You need them both. And I promise you, if you frequently seek their wisdom, you, like the beautiful balloons of Albuquerque, will launch well and then soar. Hey guys, it's time to get interactive. First of all, can I ask you to like this video? Then, your fellow church planners and I need your wisdom below in the comments. Here's the question. What are the most important factors or conditions that need to be right before you launch? Now, help your brothers out by answering that below and tagging your church planning buddies so we can learn from their wisdom as well. Thank you and God bless.